Today is a day I have long awaited when the comet moths begin to emerge from their cocoons. This morning, I noticed a lot of noise coming from one of them, and here we have the very first female to show herself. It is nearly impossible to convey just how large and impressive these moths are. Photos and videos do not do it justice. I have seen many myself before actually experiencing them, and I can tell you they are really a one in a million moth. I have reared large moths like the Atlas moth before, but this is just something altogether different and amazing. This species also has relatively long legs to support that big body. They are a heavy moth, often weighing between 20 and 30 grams. For this moth, all that weight essentially is packed into the hundreds of eggs she is carrying. And the eggs of our Gemma Matre are rather large, at least double, if not triple, the size of your typical silk moth. Here you can see how large her abdomen is. They have no digestive tract at this stage, so she is basically all eggs. The tails are shorter on the females, but they still function the same. Those twisted ends will twirl in flight, acting as a bat defense mechanism. The twirling action fools the bat's echolocation into seeing two targets instead of one. And even if they choose the correct target, odds are they will grab the moth's tails, allowing it to escape. Studies have found moths with twirling tails have a 47% increased chance of survival against bats. Let's do a little macro lens examination of her body. Moving down, look at the beautiful eye spot. If you look closely, you can see there is much detail going on, an amazing arrangement of colors to mimic something else, giving the moth an advantage of looking like something or someone it is not. The back of the moth is covered in furry scales, thick and plush, and also helpful in absorbing bat sonar. And then delicate markings all along the wings to break up her pattern against foliage, making her a bit harder for predators to spot. Although the yellow color seems conspicuous, in their natural habitat of Madagascar, hanging high in the tree canopy, they can appear as dappled sunlight, dried leaf patches, or flowers. Visual predators have a harder time identifying them from below due to the disruptive patterns, strategic positioning in the tree canopy, and the fact that they sit motionless until nightfall. Once darkness arrives, color becomes largely irrelevant in the game of staying alive. So as you see, she's quite a beauty from antenna all the way to the tip of her long, delicate tails. And even here, shading is apparent, so many tiny details. I have measured this female and she is just over seven inches in wingspan at rest. And as you can probably tell, her body is as thick as one of my fingers. So I hope you found this short visit with one of the world's most amazing moths interesting. There are several more of these that should be emerging soon. So follow along if you would like to see who comes next. And as always, thanks for watching with me.